Former Lieutenant Governor or General David Onley will be honored by the province with a state funeral Monday. But disability advocates are urging the government to carry on his legacy in a more tangible way. He made accessibility and inclusion a central theme during his seven years in office. And some say the government needs to get back to those ideas. Meg Roberts explains. Come with me to Chiba Wine Bar to be disappointed because I couldn't go to the washroom. A night out with friends derailed by the lack of accessibility. I was told by the hostess they didn't have a portable ramp and that I would not be able to access any of the indoor areas or the washroom. To share her experiences, Taylor Lindsay Noel created a TikTok page. This is an Access by Tay accessibility review which now has more than 20,000 followers. I think the narrative has always been that people with accessibility needs don't want to go out or we don't go out as often, but the fact of the matter is we don't go out because all of the barriers that we have to consider and think about. She says daily tasks like getting a taxi, using public transportation, or even finding a washroom can be challenging. There's a lot of work to be done. It was work David Onley, the 28th Lieutenant Governor and former broadcast journalist, was doing. In 2018, he was commissioned to do an independent review on the province's accessibility legislation. But advocates say those recommendations are collecting dust. The Ford government's record on accessibility for people with disabilities has been abysmal. One year ago, an independent advisory committee finalized a report to help develop education accessibility standards to tear down barriers for students. The government has sat on those recommendations now for a year. In 2005, Ontario became the first jurisdiction in Canada to pass a law establishing a goal and time frame for accessibility. That goal is set for 2025. Advocates aren't confident it will be met. As it became apparent that the current government and the government before were really not enforcing, uh, you know, the goals of this. Uh, people took their foot off the pedal and it just became less of a priority. The government did not answer CBC's question in relation to the 2025 deadline, progress on the education accessibility standards, or how many recommendations have been implemented. It said it's working with the disability community on job placement and said in a statement that part of the legacy of the Honourable David C. Onley can be found in our province's continued progress towards being more open and accessible. The best way to honour David Onley's legacy is for the Ontario government at long last to implement the recommendations he gave them four years ago. Thank Meg Roberts, CBC News, Toronto.